Okay, Ronnie, we have what we call a daily chart in the MMT platform. It does have some standard technical analysis indicator on it, such as a 20-day moving average and a 10. And it's standard technical analysis, but it's there. And that's what the general public naturally is going to make their decisions on, as well as hedge fund managers and institutional people as well, because this is all they have. So basically, can you? I'm also going to show the options because I think it's my due diligence. Let me pull that up right there. Let's make sure you have the chart. Let's gather our facts. We got 13,000 intraday contracts traded on the $40 call. That the high of the day was 335. The close was 3.5 high. The low ratio is 1.23 ratio. What a 30 penny bounce. In the $40 call with extreme volume. And Mr. Pfeiffer, if you could tell me what you see on the MMT platform as far as looking at here, let me pull up this hood for you. Bingo, let's look under the hood. There. Now let's calculate this. What do you see that the public right now would be making their decisions on, Ron? I see that. It's going to close below that 20 period moving average. And that's the red line here? Yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. And it's the first, it's really the, um, and the 10 period that's has not minute. only flattened out, it's turned down. That's right, Ron. That's big. That's and exactly the 20 right. day, that, that 20 period is flattened out. It's uh -huh. flattening out. And it's, it's, it's done that in the past, but the way this thing this thing is uh, closed down on high volume, mind you, not low volume. Okay. Very high volume selling. That's a big that's a big signal right there. Can you hold on one second? Yeah. I'm gonna buy. So let's keep that in mind. I'm gonna pull the chart down just for a moment. Mr. Pfeiffer, on the 140 call here in the silver by mentioning in the same video here as to where the SLV is falling intraday would you say that the $40 premium could go much lower than a dollar 23 with the continuation gap down in the morning because do you think that there are so many people bloated in this trade meaning that just everybody back like when you were here in 2008 even you know how they all get crowded in a name? Yes. Do you think that that's what's happening in the silver and some of these things? No question about it. And they can end up in a bad way on the long, for the bulls in, in a lot of cases, right? Yes, sir. So if we were looking at buying that $40 call, but we also know because of the super hyperactivity, exuberant hyperactivity, because that's what it is, right? Yep. <clears throat> and that's how people get crowded into these trades on the SLV, right? Yep. So would you say that at a key level, you can see the money flow is minus $172 million right here. 203 million shares traded as far as the shares of the equity right along with the look at that nice premium coming down out of these calls. And that's right. going to provide us a wholesale price. So we could end up buying these things possibly around 65 to 75 pennies. Couldn't we? Yes, sir. Well, here's your daily. E they could easily cut that premium in half and more. Okay. That's fair. Easily. Easily. All right. So here's your uh, daily chart again. And here are your lines. And these market maker lines are created by this platform. And they don't lie, do they, Ronnie? They do not. They will be accurate, won't they? Yes, they will. And whatever happens in here is going to be between the buyers and the sellers. And some of these things with the gap downs, because we called the short up here originally, right, Ronnie? Yes, and sir. And it got the confirmation. Look at the volatility wick to the half bar right here, and then they slid the bid. Yes, right? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And not only that because of everything you mentioned earlier here as far as the general public their stop market orders is going to get taken down until they're all cleared out and then silver's going to run right back up again because remember ronnie it's been your experience as you were telling me earlier that when people are so exuberant in it 
it's going to take a while for them to get wore out, but they're going to continue to try to buy these certain key levels, aren't they, at certain price action? Yes, they right. will. They need to get their heads knocked around a little bit. Right, right. And once they all get taken out of the name, then that's when we're going to buy it and get net long, and we're going to go higher from thereafter because we've done cleared all of that uh, retail public mindset, right? Yep. And once those stops are taken out, and once that pullback gets there and they get wore out on buying every dip all the way down, when really it's a short sell, it's a three dollar short, forty three twenty four down to forty and a quarter, a hit thirty nine sixty two. So selling short down is why they're having a problem bouncing it because more short sellers are trying to get in on the lower end of the move now. Right? Yep. All right. So we're going to watch this thing for the next couple of days. Look at the contracts, Ronnie. 13,408. Can I say something about the 50 day, 50 yes, period? Yes, you can. Uh, I'm seeing that at 3776. 3776. Well, let's take a look at it here in our system. Here. I think the 100 period's uh, 3317. All right. 3776. That Correct. would be all slightly above one and one half delta down at so thirty seven nineteen is one and one half delta down. Yep. A full delta down is thirty nine oh seven. So it sounds like those public moving averages sounds like we already have them priced in the middle of the market, don't we? Yes we do. By what you can see right here, right? Yep. So where's the fifty day? Thirty seven seventy six. Okay. That's a fifty period. That's a fifty, 50 day period. On so a daily tier. And then you got the 100 for what that's worth is uh, 33.16. Well, let's go down. Okay, that's right here. Two and a half deltas down. And the two, the 200 period for what that's worth is uh, 27.46. Well, that's right in here. It's 27.79 yep. full, so 46, 25.91 between, yeah, because these are all deltas here on the daily. Mm -hmm. They're, they mm -hmm. only calculate uh, the half deltas, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what this is. You see how it says teeny value? Each line is a dollar eighty-eight, right here. So every one of those key levels that you talked about are already priced in the MMT platform. They already price in that public stuff, don't they? Yep. But at di slightly different price, uh, pennies up, higher or lower. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It's because the public model is going to make all these goofy transactions, right? Yep. Well, that's what I would think. So, on this trade here, Ronnie, I think we'll use our discipline and tomorrow's trade management is we're going to see exactly where we can come down in these deltas. I'm going to show a three-minute chart, and I've got to get ready for the first solar earnings. But now, on a three-minute chart, naturally, a teeny is only 24 pennies. And if I want to look over here, uh, we're trading at, let's take a look on, on the, some of those price levels. You gave me what now? 37 what? 37.76. All right. Well, let me tell you something. On the, on the daily one, on the three minute, one and three eighths is 37.66, sir. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? Then you've got your 38.60, and you know what the low of the day was? 39.62, that's still below the market. This is on a daily, but look at here. 39.54 was minus seven eighths, slightly right below within pennies of the 39.62 low in the platform. Mm -hmm. And basically, you can see how this thing was really a long, long, long short. So there's a bear ETF that we need to be looking at on this name tomorrow. Because if we break down on those key levels, we can break hard and fast. On the other hand, if we go the opposite way in the market, then we could buy the drop down bid here and take it that way. Is that how you see the trade management, Ron? Yes, sir. With the least amount of risk? Yep. Why don't you talk about risk, what that means and what we're doing? risk in relation to position sizing right and in terms of uh, the length of the trade whether you're going in you're going intraday or you're going uh, out for uh, a longer term trade that's right you want to you want to adjust your positions accordingly 
Right. And you want to wait for a good extreme in the market. That's exactly right. Yeah. So, so you would want to use a you you'd want to base that on a longer term chart. Maybe uh, go to a week weekly and and a monthly. Now this is now this thing's made quite a move here. It's been a parabolic move straight up. So a monthly chart is not going to be much use for you here. Right here's uh, a, a weekly, weekly Doji reversal in the MMT yep. platform. A weekly will be more applicable to uh, see the high right there at forty eight. Yep. And we damn near pulled back ten dollars already. Yes. Right. See, because it's a weekly chart, it'll take all the, it's just showing you where the name is right here. But that's mm -hmm. the weekly, that's the lines. Each one of the lines are 3.76 mm -hmm. for today. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Yep. And 35.31 is the lower end of that there at two deltas down. And a delta. This could do some ser serious damage if that, uh, if that doji turns into uh, an elevator bar and it closes below the opening of that uh, this bar, that green bar, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. or halfway halfway below halfway where that below wick it. is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that would be uh, that would be a that would be a turn on this. That would be absolutely. That would indicate the sentiments changed on this. That's right. And fundamentals may not have changed, but the sentiment has. Well, the sentiment has changed, and part of that sentiment, there's sentiment, but then there's also stop market orders that are automatically triggered auto, uh, electronically, right? Limit downs. That's right. Yep. So what we'll do then is we'll stay on the sideline until tomorrow and start looking at when this whole atmosphere is going to clear its way one way or the other long or another five dollars down below the market right yep all right That's once again thirteen thousand six hundred and thirteen forty dollar call options slvi sh shares silver trust i shares down big 242 it was a teeny top failure at 33 today here it is clearly in the chart it was a squeeze down. Time to start looking at the bear ETF. Any volatility gap up, it's been reversing. So we have the trade management. We'll monitor it daily and we'll take advantage of any one of our great opportunities that are presented to us daily. Right, Ron Piper? Quite correct. That's right. And that's exactly what we'll do. And that's how we'll get the wholesale entries on the SLV, long and short long or short, doesn't matter to us.